Today I'm going to be walking you through six of the recent updates that Asana made that you probably don't know about yet. Here we go. Welcome to Asana Solutions, the number one channel on YouTube for all things related to Asana, process improvement, and project management. My name is Marquis, I'm your host, and you heard me right. If you've been using Asana for quite some time now, then you know that they can be kind of sneaky when it comes to their updates. They kind of just slip them in there and they'll release you know, updates periodically, but if you're not paying attention, you may miss some of them. So today I'm gonna to be covering six new updates that I've noticed recently that impact goals, um, timelines, forms, automations, and everything in between. So if you see something that you know I may have missed or that you're using, I'd love to hear it. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, hit the like button, and make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications. Let's jump in. All right, so I'm gonna start with the update that I'm probably the most excited about, and it is in relation to goals. So anyone who has created any goals knows that, you know, you have to set your metrics, um, you have to apply it to, um, you know, a project, and then you have to manually update it every time you get that notification, whether it's weekly, monthly, but with this update, they've now made it so the goal creation and progress is automatic. And so if we did go in and we wanna create a company goal, even the interface looks a little bit different. So we can just say goal one, right? Um, I'm the owner of it. We can still set our period, that's all the same. We can make it public, private, add collaborators here, but now it's the update method that I want to pay special attention to. So we can have it be automatic, so automatically calculate progress from sub goals or projects, and you do have to choose, or we can continue to do it manually. I don't know why you would wanna do that, but you do have that option. So in this case, because it's a parent goal, I'm gonna keep it related to the sub goals. I wanna know that as my sub goals are being achieved, that my parent goal is being achieved. So I'm gonna keep it at, at uh, sub goals there, and I'm gonna assign percentage. So I'm gonna save that goal, and let's just click into it. So now, you know, we used to see a little, um, related projects over here and you can manually add your projects there but what's different about this is now instead of this saying set your metrics it says connect a sub goal so now we're going to connect our sub goal let's say sub goal one and it looks the exact same except for this down here so it's still related to that parent goal but now we can choose automatic and instead of sub goals again we can go to projects. And we have the option now to check off whether we're tracking milestones complete or tasks. So I'm gonna do tasks in this case, save that goal. There we go. So now, once we click into this sub goal, we have to do one more step. Instead of adding the related projects on the right hand side like we're used to, we're gonna do connect a project. And I'm just gonna pull in any random project right here. Inside 11%, let's click to see what that project looks like. There we go, let's click off some more things here. I'm gonna click off a bunch of these tasks and we're actually gonna go all tasks so we can see what's going on. Let's click off, so remember it was at 11% before. There we go. And now let's go back to that portfolio. Now we can see it's at 18%, 19%, it's moved up. So what's nice is as we get closer, let's go back, see if we can check off some more. I'm gonna check off all these tasks. It's gonna continually update that status for us automatically. Now it's at 23%. Any other sub goals that we add on to this will do the same thing. So now if we go back to our goal, all right, I'm gonna come in right here. I'm gonna change that, there we go. And so now we can say, all right, we're gonna close this goal because it's been uh, completed. We are on track <clears throat> and we're going to say, let's just leave it at that for now. Close this goal, yep, we're on track, perfect, awesome. So now, as we come back to our parent goal, you can see that we've moved ahead by that 24%. And so that's what's really nice about all this is you can you know, add your sub goals and it does all the work for you automatically instead of you having to set those metrics. The next one I'm gonna to go to is forms and reporting permissions. So unless you are an admin, you probably wouldn't have seen this and even still, if you're not checking your admin console on, on the business plan, you probably miss these features as well. So if you do have the business plan, you're gonna go into your, your admin console and you're gonna to go to 
your security, and under admin contr controls down here, controls, who says that? Um, under admin controls, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna see two things. One is the reporting permissions, okay? This isn't super new, but now if you've missed it, you can change what reporting looks like and who has access to it. So you want to be able to allow your organization or people in your organization to um, create multi-project dashboards or just sim single project dashboards. The reason for this is say you have projects that maybe aren't private, um, but are public and maybe you just don't want people having access to it or be able to pull in stats or run their own metrics against those projects. You can just you know um, reduce the visibility by allowing other members to only create single project dashboards or you can just make those those projects private, but you do have some options here now. And the second is forms access permission. So now you can say who you want on your team to have access to um, the forms in order to edit them. So this is to determine who can access your Asana forms. These changes will reflect on all active and new forms, okay? And so it can be restricted to only internal people, or you can have it that the link is active to be shared anywhere. So check out your, your admin console settings. Um, some of you would have gotten even the video recording permissions through the new Vimeo <clears throat> connection, but if that is disabled or off, then you're not going to see that in your dashboard. All right. So that's number two. The other one that I want to show you is our alternate timeline views. So let me go back to a project. Let's go here to our sub goal. Let's go to our project right here. So now we all know that you can create links for the timeline, right? We can create links where we can show everyone, you know, externally what's happening. We copy this link, we open up incognito, and there we go. We can see progress on that, uh, on that project when it loads up. There it is. You don't need to sign in or anything. What Asana has now done is if you're in the list view, you can share that link, but now this says share this project list. So external stakeholders can see what it looks like here. They can go in and guess what? You can share the board view, All right? So let's go back over here, pop that in, and now we can see the board view pop up. There we are. So this is really nice because the timeline or the Gantt view only showed you one um, view of what was going on, but now any external stakeholders can see what's going on at a glance, see what um, tasks are in which stages and so on and so on. There's just a bit more information here. All right. So that is number three. All right, number four I want to show you is how we create our templates. And there's another video that fully goes over the new template module. But in this case, all I'm going to show you is what, you know, um, a cool new feature for adding your projects to your portfolios. So if we were to go in, like we have, let's just create a new project template. There we go. Create this template. So I'm not going to go through the full module again. There's another video for that. But in settings right down here, once you've gone through all this stuff, play around with it if you haven't seen it yet. But now you can automatically make it so that when you create this um, or any projects using this template, those projects automatically get added to the portfolios of your choosing. Right. So we can go add. And there we go. Anytime this project is recreated, it's automatically going to get added there. That is like game changing because with a lot of teams, they were creating projects so quickly, they're scaling, they're growing, and it was just very tedious to have to add it to that portfolio every single time. All right, so that is number four. Number five, we're almost there. Uh, new uh, custom custom field templates. So it's not in every portal just yet. I know they're rolling it out slowly, but um, we're just in our demo test project here. And on the right hand side, if we did open up our customize window, you're going to see all of your fields, but you may have missed a few of them. So we already know that like, um, where are they? Assignee, due date, you know, those can't be modified. Same with dependencies or tags, projects. You can't you know, remove them from the project, but you can turn them off. But now there are, I mean, four more um, fields here. One is completed on, last modified on, created on, and created by. So what's nice is we can turn these on. Let's take a look and see what they look like. 
close that up. All right, so we have completed on. So this, um, these tasks here, we can see that they are completed on. Someone actually checked off the done check mark on October 14th, 2021. And that's also the last time they were modified. But we can also now see when they were created and we can see who they were created by. Now, this is huge because we, we have had this information before, right? If we drill down into the history of all of this, we can see this here, but you, you would have to go that deep to do it. Now, um, I think where Hassan is going with this and leave me a comment below if you think something else is going on, but they're giving us this access because I think they want to give us, you know, better reporting permissions. I think that's where we're headed with this. And I'm really excited for that. Because if we can see, you know, when something was created or when it was modified, meaning someone actually like paid attention to the task, and then when it was completed, we can now see and report on how long tasks were in certain stages, were in certain projects that went overdue, you know, how long, you know, has it been since someone has, you know, reflected on that, if we have any, um, SOPs or any documents that need to be revised, you know, every month we can see exactly when they were last modified on, and so where I think we're heading is, you know, having some kind of like audit trail of all the activities that happen inside of Asana. So this is new. Um, if you haven't noticed it yet or wondering how it works, there's your there's your crash course. And I'm super excited for what this will allow us to do in the future. And then the last one, you probably didn't miss this. This was a pretty big one. We've been waiting for this for a long time, but it's forms. You can now add multiple forms to one project. Finally, finally, man, um, I don't know about you, but it's been really like annoying in some cases where, you know, you have a form and you want to submit multiple information and to that project, but you have to create another project. And then you have a team where you have all your form links and then all your form submissions just go there. And it was just like so much happening. So now we have one form already. We can add another form, all right? There we go. We can add another form. I don't know the limit to this. Let's see. Oh boy, four, that's five forms. There we go. So you can add up to five forms per project. We just hit the limit right there. But even this, like for the people that have been using one form for so long, you now have way more options for this. So um, leave a comment below. Tell me which of these was your favorite update. If I missed an update and there's something you're using or you can see in your portal that I haven't seen yet, let me know, send me a link to it, send me a video, like and subscribe to this video, and feel free to share it with anyone who you feel would benefit from this video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.